in Kentucky. We're at Octagon Hall. The history of this place is insane. It was part of the Underground Railroad. It was a Civil War hospital. Not to mention all the families that have lived here over the years. There's two different graveyards in the back. I cannot wait for you guys to see what's going on. And we have new equipment. OMG, you guys just wait. Come on, let's go inside. So we're here at Octagon Hall and when we pulled up, it was just a really neat site because there's tons of things here. It's a beautiful plot of land. There's buildings outside everywhere. All the historical values still here. Once we got out, there's a little puppy there, which I died for. And it, once you walk inside, it just turns into a completely different place. You just got war memorabilia all over the wall of the Civil War. I'm really excited to investigate it because it's a really neat setup of a building. It's literally an octagon and it's it looks small from the outside but it's a lot bigger on the inside there's tons of nooks and crannies here and secret things here and there i'm really excited to see what we find it is amazing i was so excited to bring carter and clayton here and and just the rich history that is here it's been everything from part of the underground railroad to a civil war hospital not to mention all the families that have lived here first impression just gorgeous. It's been updated since the last time I was here. Absolutely lovely. I walked through every room. I don't feel anything negative here. Felt nothing but positive vibes. So I think it's going to be an excellent evening. Um, I've heard a lot about this place because Kitsy came here a while ago. I was a part of the crew then, but for scheduling purposes, I couldn't be here and I could not be more excited. We walked the entire property inside and out and the first thing that I noticed when we pulled in is it still feels like it, it did when it was in its full capacity. Um, the rebel flag outside waving, you walk inside with all the old furniture and the mannequins. It's a little creepy at times. It just really gets you in the mood for how things were back then. So hopefully we can speak to some of the spirits and entities that were around back then to give us a little more taste of how it was. Okay, so it's my job to figure out where we're going to investigate first. So I'm going to let my crazy fly and see where I get the best heebie-jeebies. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I've been through the house several times, but the basement, I, it's not goosebumps. It's maybe a little bit of electricity. Right in this area, for sure. A little bit of goosebumps. This is the old kitchen. Only thing freaking me out are those mannequins. And this room I'm heading to now is known for a negative entity. Not a demon or anything like that. Just my thoughts are, if you're an asshole in life, you're going to be an asshole in death. And I hear the guy in here is an asshole. And now the hair on my arms is standing up, so let's go check upstairs. Such a beautiful location. And they book overnight investigations, so if that's your thing, you should definitely check it out. Up here, this is the room that, I think it was Mary Elizabeth, died in. Um, yes, Mary Elizabeth. And this room here is dressed up like the Civil War Hospital. I'm not positive it's where it all took place, but electricity, 
on this arm, right at my elbow. And it was up like this. So I don't think it was Mary Elizabeth. Now, last time I was here, this little hallway right here in between the two bedrooms was where I was most terrified. And I asked Billy, the curator, whether it was still dark up here. And he told me a very beautiful story that he had a medium come in, the only medium he trusts, and that she said it was a slave from back in the day and that he was, she didn't really say why he was angry, but she led him to find this slave wedding ring out in the yard. And ever since it's been placed here, he's kind of calmed down a little bit, which I think is an awesome story. And it is, it's, it's much lighter in here than it was. I was honestly terrified to come in this little hallway the last time I was here. This room feels very prim and proper. Could be because of this fabulous bed. Totally need one of those in my home. No bad vibes in this house at all. Other than that guy downstairs once I tried to roll him up a little bit. But it, it just seems very welcoming, if that makes any sense. Mannequins everywhere. And it's slightly terrifying. But I think we're going to start in the basement. We're going to start in that hallway. Sound good? Okay. I'm Kitsy. But these are my friends, Clayton and Carter. Um, we're just here to learn about you. There's a red light that if you would make it go off, we might pee ourselves just a little. And, and believe it works. And believe it works. So, most excitingly, we have an SLS camera. OMG. So, for our three fans that are watching right now. We broke the bank and we bought an SLS camera. What is an SLS camera is what you're asking, I'm sure. So this is one of those cool cameras you see on all the really big TV shows. It shows all the little stick figures. I know, we're a big deal right now. Right up front here, you've got actually like a legit connect from, you know, like from the video game machines and then it the video up. game machines what are you 80 years old jesus <laughs> next time you fall we're gonna run to help you <laughs> um and it's hooked up to this tablet here and this tablet is gonna tell us if there's any ghosties here so i'm super excited so next time make sure i get this all set up before we start introing it hey the power of editing right did you hear that? Like what? Neither of you heard that voice. What did? Yeah. I heard hello. Female? Yes. Mm -hmm. I heard a female. I didn't hear what it said. Where do you think it came from? I don't know. Hello. Less RuPaul. Less RuPaul. There's nobody out there. You heard that. Where do you think it sounded like it was from? I could not tell you. It almost sounded like it was outside, apparently. Is there like a laser grid on me right now? Oh, it's, um, the it's connect. probably the connect. <laughs> to the female who just spoke, can you come closer to us? Can you tell us your name? I heard a like a high pitch. I heard a little child's laughter. That's kind of what it sounded like. If you, we have a lot of recording devices. So feel free to speak however loud you want to, and I'm sure we'll be able to hear you later. Can you come closer to us? There's nothing to be afraid of, we just want to talk. Are you Mary Elizabeth? Am I crazy? Just heard like a little girl go, yeah! I heard you, darling. Are you playing hide and seek right now? Point that camera in the hallway, Mom. In that doorway in the back. I'm covered right now. Mary I swear. Dude, your hair just stands straight up. I thought I saw something standing in that back doorway. <gasps> there was a there was a 
stick figure just a second no, ago. No, I'm not even recording yet. I'm still trying to figure this fucking thing out. Were you on it by chance? Uh, I think I was. Oh, yes, he was. Look at little teeny tiny stick figure hiding from us. OMG! I'm still trying to switch views so I can see this big. Somebody get their camera on it. I'm on it. Okay. Mary Elizabeth, is that you, precious? Now that we figured out how to use it. Okay. And everything's backwards. Right, which makes it so weird. Can you come out and play with us, sweetie? Are you hiding from us right now? Okay, we're going to go back in the other room. Oh, that mannequin. That's gonna happen all night. We don't want you to do any tricks. Um, knock on doors, push things over. Although that would be great if it happened, we're not gonna sit here and ask you to do it. So yeah, we just want to talk to you. We have a lot of recording devices, so if you are a little shy and don't wanna speak up and speak out, that's totally fine. You can speak in it, into any of those devices and we'll hear it later. I want to talk to the female that Kitsy and I heard. Can you come into this room and talk to us? Don't be shy. All you have to do is step right in here. And we'll stay where we're at. We won't come rushing at you or anything. If you just kind of want to step down the stairs, if that's where you're at, or from the back room forward. I am going to slowly come into that room with this red device in my hand, but I'm going to back away and leave quickly. And this is a great way for you to communicate with us as well. We aren't going to take you anywhere. In fact, we don't want to take you anywhere and you're not allowed to come with us. Let's get that out there. But we do want to talk to you. Can you tell me how old you are? We can't hear you. Can you come can you come closer to us? It's okay if you come closer. We aren't going to rush in after you like we did last time. We're, we'll stay right here where we're at. We just got a little excited. We did. What's your name? Just in case it is a little kid. I don't know Are you hiding out. from us? If you want me to come find you, you have to let me know. That sounds weird. Did you guys hear like a, another child's voice? It sounded like it was outside the window over there. What did it say? I just heard like, I don't know, basically like the end of a sentence you'd hear like someone's just like, ah. Kind of like she's hiding and she wants me to find, answering my question. I didn't hear it that time. It, it sounds like it was outside to me. I swear I just saw something. You know, when I was little, my parents always told me not to talk to strangers. And, and that's fine. And I understand we don't want you talking to strangers either. And that's why we introduced ourselves. And we aren't here to hurt you or to harm you. We just want to know why you're hiding and to know why you're lingering here and staying here. I don't know why I'm covered in goosebumps. I just I, heard the stairs move. I'm yeah, I heard I'm that creep. Covered in goosebumps. Uh -huh. If you just walk Did you guys out, hear that? What was that? I'm gonna go see if there's someone outside. I swear I hear stuff outside. Was it like a voice? Yeah. yeah. There's no one here. My anxiety is like amped up right now though for some reason. The kid died down here. No, she caught on fire down here. I felt her down here last time I was here. Where was the kitchen? Okay. In there? Yeah. So she probably came screaming through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not standing by that kitchen anymore. I feel weird right now. What exactly are you feeling, Carter? Oh, it's just like 
some kind of almost like you would be getting goosebumps and anxiety at the same time. I've never felt this before. Should we just yeah, move into it? Yeah. She caught him. What in the hell? <laughs> what if its eyes just moved? I would leave. I would leave. One hundred percent. Because it looks like its eyes are getting removed. Yeah. Like some sort of animatronic house of wax lady. Dude, that looks terrifying on IR. It looks terrifying without IR. Dude, like the eyeballs are all grayed out and shit. Jeez, look at this. Putting a GoPro up here as well. <sighs> so we're here to talk to anybody in this room, actually, but we, we kind of feel like Mary Elizabeth has been in here trying to meet, communicate with us. Um, Clayton's going to introduce you to a game he likes to play. So if Mary Elizabeth, if you are in here, he's going to tell you all about this fun game he wants to play with you. So, Mary Elizabeth, I understand that this room is probably hard for you to spend time in, and it definitely isn't a, a room that brings you... Shh. Anybody else hear footsteps upstairs? Mm-mm. Mary Elizabeth, if that's you, we invite you to come down here and speak to us, and you can turn on the flashlight to answer or turn it off. It's really easy, you just need to get near it and touch the flashlight on the table. Oh. Hello. Mary Elizabeth, if you're already down here with us, can you turn on that flashlight again? If that was someone else that turned on the flashlight, can you turn it on again? We were just talking about how hard it was to turn on. So again, I'm speaking to Mary Elizabeth. If there's someone else in here, we will speak to you as well, but right now we're wanting to speak to Mary Elizabeth, so if you could just wait. Mary Elizabeth, like I was saying, this room definitely brings back terrible memories for you. Some of your final memories. And that's why we want to speak to you here. We understand it's vulnerable, it's scary. I, I think it's her. And it's sad. I think she's agreeing with you. Just like that. It's perfect. Mary Elizabeth, are you in fact the little girl that I'm speaking with? If this is you, can you please turn on that flashlight again? If it is someone else, can you turn on the flashlight again? I'm not sure why you're being... A moth just flew out. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, anomaly! <laughs> Are you one of the servants? I don't know, it's just... It was not, delayed, it's yeah. really delayed. Was someone in this room with her when Mary Elizabeth caught on fire? Was there a servant with Mary Elizabeth when she caught on fire? It's okay, we're not going to blame you. We don't judge you, we're not going to blame you. We just want to ask you questions about how it happened. We have no doubt that you did the best you could in the circumstances that were given to you. Was there a servant in this room when Mary Elizabeth caught on fire? Well, I don't know. Turn it all the way on. Whoa. Okay. Thank you. We that was perfect. We appreciate it. That was perfect. So, I don't, I don't know what just happened. What? I don't know. What? I don't know. It was like, look at my arms right now. Like, Holy what shit. What are you feeling? What are you my, feeling? Like, my heart literally was like, like, almost like a heart palpitation, but I felt like someone was just like, 
I don't. I do not like that. Whatever just happened to me. Okay, I you just, have to. Was, I just looked over and I swear there was like. I don't like that feeling. Do you want to ask what spots? I here here's my crazy is telling me. That was not fun. It was. A, it is a servant. She's not sure if she should communicate with us right now, but the fact that we told her that we're not judging her, that, she felt a connection with you. I don't. That literally, it felt like something like, not physically. Do you think like maybe a energy hand energy? on your chest? No, it's not the energy drink. Okay, I just want to make sure. Do you think it felt like no, a hand? No, not on like it? it was literally like my heart palpitated. Like, like almost like she went through you. Yes. Oh my god. I don't like that. I don't like that. It's, it's not, I don't blame you. Guys, we're not here to hurt you or harm you. And, and I know we're different than other investigators, but you have to respect our boundaries, okay? We do want to interact with you, but please, please respect our boundaries. We respect you, so we need you to respect us. Yes. I understand Clayton's a good-looking boy. I mean... Who wouldn't want to get close to him? But we, I, I need you to respect his his personal space, okay? He's feeling really uncomfortable right now. If you're agreeing with us, can you turn that light off? Um, Thank you so much. We appreciate that you understand what we're saying and that you're respecting our boundaries. And if you respect our boundaries, we will 100% respect yours. Yes. And, and we're not upset with you. And Clayton was just startled. That's all it was. He was just I startled. Felt like something was like if you were to stand right here, uh -huh. and right when I looked over, it was like boom. Did you did you like feel an energy? It was almost like I don't know. It was like I knew it was there, and then I got that feeling. It was almost like this sounds stupid. It it almost was like the opposite of like a camera flash in your eyes, like. Nothing. No, that doesn't sound stupid at all. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, f yeah. I understand that. Like, instead of a bright white flash, it was like a, just a, like, nothing. I had that happen to me in, um, the asylum in Winchester, where all of a sudden it was just black in front of my face. But I felt the spirit was coming up on me, so maybe that's a thing. I don't fucking know, but I don't like it. Maybe that's... A... They're, they're Again, we're not upset with you. That's just not. something we have never experienced before. I just want to make it clear that we are not here to hurt you or harm you. And you are not allowed to do that to us either. We are not, you are not allowed to, to come anywhere with us. You're not allowed to attach yourself to any of us or any of our equipment. Like I said, we respect you guys. We just want you to respect us too. If you understand that, can you please turn that light on? I feel like it's gone. I do too. I think the fact that it scared you scared her. Did you sense a female? No. I did. I did. I didn't sense a, a sex. I, I felt like there was one of the servants here. Maybe it's because these mannequins are right here behind me. but I, I And I sensed her right in this area right here. So it makes sense why when she came closer, maybe early 20s. So, that was obviously me. But I, I think she felt safe with us, and, and she got too close and accidentally showed herself to you. You know what I'm saying? And it, it scared you with good reason. But I felt like almost physical, like... Yeah. Well, here's, here's my theory, and I don't know if I've ever told you guys this or not. Sometimes they don't know how to express themselves to us either. Sometimes if it seems scary, maybe it's just them trying something new and it comes... And they don't know how to go about right. doing it. And it comes across as, you know, a scratch or a, you know what or, I'm saying? Or like in, just intrusive in some way. Yes, yes. I, I got the sense that she all of a sudden felt very comfortable, especially with Clayton, which is, like I told you, Clayton's a people person. And that's what we were trying to do, I'll admit. So, it's not her fault. <laughs> This is the nurse on the flashlight. Can you turn it all the way off? Servant. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit down. Yeah, I'm good. No, did you hear her in this corner over here? I heard something click in the corner. I'm not looking over there again. Do you want to sit over here? Mm-hmm. 
I'm just not going to look over there. Okay, please respect so, his boundaries, but feel more than welcome to stay. Sit. To the servant that's in the corner that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry that I jumped, but... Oh my god. You were very close to me. <laughs> you can come over here, I'll I don't know if I'll be more comfortable when I back to the door. Doesn't help that the servant lady is just staring straight at you. That was so weird. That was weird. I have no, I, I don't even, I can't even describe it. Because it was like, I looked up, felt something like, and it was literally like, black, heart, like, Something happened to my heart. That's crazy. Yeah. And scary. <laughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's time to get you out of here. Come on. Everybody out. So we went down to the basement for our first investigation of the evening, and wow, I mean it started off, we were hearing voices, and we tried getting our new SLS camera to work, and I struggled hardcore with it. Um, we did see a very small little stick figure in the hallway down there, just briefly, and it was gone. It kept sounding like the voices we were hearing were in the kitchen. And we weren't really getting too much. We heard some voices, heard some sounds, didn't really get anything definitive from that. Nothing was responding to us. So we moved into the kitchen and we started asking some questions, pulled out the flashlight. We tried talking to the little girl that was supposedly burned to death here. And uh, we were getting some pretty on the spot flashlight things. And then all of a sudden, Clayton just feels like there's basically something rushing him just on top of him. We decided to go into the kitchen in the basement and try to speak with Mary Elizabeth. Mary Elizabeth is a little girl who actually caught on fire down there, was then taken up to the third floor where she later died of third degree burns. So we go into the kitchen and the idea was to do a flashlight session. So while we're doing this, all of a sudden I turn and look right, or I'm sitting right next to the fireplace. So I turn and look right and as I do that, it felt like there was someone just hovering over me and when I like reacted. That was perfect. So I don't I don't know what just happened. What? I don't know. What? I don't know. It was like look at my arms right now. Like Holy what are you feeling? What are you my, feeling? Like my heart literally was like like almost like a heart competition, but I felt like someone was just like, I don't, I do not like that, whatever just happened to me. It was the strangest thing, it was, like, there was a negative flash, like I was just overwhelmed by a black flash, and <laughs> my heart almost like palpitated. I don't know, I don't like the way that it felt, um, at all. Okay guys, so this is nuts. Number one, we never get EVPs. Certainly not EVPs as clear as this without being touched up. We hadn't really set anything up but this GoPro and this is what we captured. Really? Did you hear it? It sounded like a child saying, do you have any cards for you? But with like a childlike speech impediment, like, do you have any cards for you? Listen again. Insane, right? Is this Mary Elizabeth? God, I hope so. What was it originally built for? A plantation. Uh, the hospital was up here. Okay. It's like which could be lending to the paranormal activity, I'm hoping. We've never done Hopefully it. Hopefully it lends to the REM pod activity. <laughs> the REM pod? You mean that red thing out in the hallway out there? Are any of the nurses in here? I mean, we're willing 
to talk to anybody, not just Mary Elizabeth. I know everybody comes in this room and tries to talk to her. But if there's anybody else here, we are more than willing to talk to you as well. Okay. Let's try the portal. The app? Yeah. <laughs> so we're willing to talk to any, any entities, any people that are here right now. And this is a great way for you to communicate with us. Take the voices that are on that, that blue light on the bed there. And, and you should be able to manipulate those so you can answer our questions or tell us things that you would like to tell us. So who, who are we speaking with right now? You sound like Ash. I heard Ash 110%. I mean, Ashley was a male's name back in the Civil War. Ash, are you hurt? I don't know yet. That's exactly what I heard. Yeah, saying. I heard that too. Ash, are you thinking about harming yourself? <laughs> it was... The same voice that said, I don't know yet. Ash, do not hurt yourself. No, 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 no. Nothing is worth that. Ash, did you come here from the Confederates to escape the war? Ash, are you still with us? How many soldiers are in this room with us right now? Six. And an officer. I heard that. It was six, six and an officer. officer. Whoever is an officer, speak up. That's one of them. Like, I feel like you, Sam. Sam. Yeah. Was the officer's name Sam? She knows. You. This officer's name Sam Nelson. Did you just say my name? That's literally what I heard. Yeah. Officer Nelson, how old are you? Officer Nelson, am I hearing your boots outside? Not me. And we are not here to hurt you or harm you. We are only here to learn about you guys. Nothing left that your voice said. I felt like something was trying to draw my energy and then it stopped and then it said that. <laughs> like nothing left. <laughs> like, see, like my hairs on my legs started to lift up and then it said that and then they went down. I don't... <laughs> Thanks for not taking what the energy I have left. Sam Nelson, there's a gray box on the bed. Can you go touch it for me? My arm is missing. That. I heard my arm is missing after the accident. Officer Nelson, are you still here? It's not like I said I am for now. <laughs> Sounds like they're talking to each other. Ash, are you still here? No. Here, hold on. Turn that off. Let's see if we can hear this boot. Is a Confederate soldier really scared of two normal, three normal people? I don't know why. I'm just, I looked at it. I was like, two people. Let's see where I stand. Private Ash, are you still here? I'm speaking directly to Private Ash and Officer Nelson. 
Can you tell us what year it is? Are you alive? Where should we go to talk to you? I'm speaking directly to Private Ash and Officer Nelson. Can you tell us what year it is? Are you alive? Where should we go to talk to you? Nothing. Can someone finish this? Ghost hunters all the time. Of course it did. I'm about dead. I have 10 minutes left. Can we take a break? I'm yeah, like burning up. We're just up in Mary Elizabeth's room where she allegedly died from her burns, which she got in the, the kitchen. We couldn't find her. Um, at least she wasn't interacting with us. One theory that we have is that this place is often investigated. So some of these entities and energies and spirits don't always have the energy they need to come forward. Especially someone like Mary Elizabeth who's often called upon might just be so drained that she takes a, lo a longer time to recharge, if you will. We pulled out the Wonder Box with the Portal app and we started just asking questions and stuff. Heard some things we had never heard on it before, which was interesting. And then it kind of just died down a little bit, didn't hear too much, so we decided to move on and uh, hopefully we catch some more stuff upstairs. We did communicate with the Portal app on the Wonder Box with soldiers. And the first one came across that he was Ash. I'm not sure if it was a first name or last name. I'm assuming it was a first name. And we had asked him how many soldiers were in the room with us. And it literally said six plus an officer. And then we had asked about the officer and the officer's name came through, so we'll see what happens next. We're just here to communicate with you, tell your story to the world and our five fans on Amazon Prime. Um, we understand that upstairs here was used as a as a hospital for the Civil War. All three of us are feeling really lightheaded right now. Almost like Clayton had said before we turned the cameras on, almost like blood loss. Um, and I assume we're feeling your energy and what you went through while you were here. Um, interesting thing about tonight's investigation, Mercury is in retrograde. And that is not a good thing, kids, just so you know. So protect yourself. Um, it's so in Mercury retrograde. We have an expert here to tell us what Mercury retrograde is. Is it the planet or the substance? Like the. It's the, the planet. It's astrological. Okay. When when Mercury is in retrograde, what what it the retrograde means is it looks like Mercury is pulling away from us as opposed to heading towards us like it normally does. It happens three or four times a year and what it does is it, it messes with communication because Mercury, the planet, is in charge of communication according to the astrological world. Anything to do with communication, like spouses will fight more often than they normally do. It's just... So what's have to do with investigating because we're communicating with the spirit world? Hey, that makes sense. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about, Clayton. I'll be here for a couple more hours. <laughs> <laughs> we understand that there's a private here named Ash, and that there is an officer here named Nelson, and we're very, very, very interested in speaking with you both. Please don't be intimidated by me. I am a very strong woman. Words are so fucking hard. <laughs> intimidated. I can't make fun because I said a lot wrong, but now you just kept moving right on through it. You made it funny. That's what I do. I'm not here to hurt you. I may be a strong woman, but it's a different time right now. And I'm really, honestly, swear to God, just one of the guys. I'm going to turn on the... The Wonder Box, and what this does is like the Portal app that you were communicating with us earlier, is it gives you 
sounds and noises so that you can manipulate those and speak to us. This is just a spirit box, right? Yeah. Who's here with us? Peter. 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 That was legit, Peter. Hi, Peter. Are you a soldier? That was so good. Peter, are you a doctor? <laughs> Anybody? That was the same voice, though. That was the same voice. I couldn't understand him, though. Oh, these fucking mannequins. I know. We're right on my shoulder again. Are you taking some of our energy to use that device? It's okay if you are. We've given you permission to do that. Yes. But is that why we are feeling lightheaded? Is Peter still here? Where'd you go? How many people are in this room right now? Three. 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 You guys are doing a great job. Howard? I would like one spirit to come forward and communicate with us directly. Can you do that? Okay. Okay. Just find us a representative to talk for all of you guys, if you would. It's just what? Oddity. Oddity. That sounded like me. Did it not? It did. A little bit. Residual. The Warner Box is so over us. It's yeah. Like... <laughs> what about Oddity Files? Hey, what's going on with us? What's going to happen? Tell us some good news. Will we get more than four fans? <laughs> it was a three, then went to five, now we're at four. <laughs> Future Kitsy. I can turn this off if you'd like. You just have to let me know. Oh my god. You want to tell the recorder? Yeah. Turn on. Thank you. We're going to turn this off for a second. And Clayton's actually going to try a new ADP recorder that we haven't tried yet. Um, I found it at a pawn shop. I'm speaking directly to the soldiers in this room. What is your name? How many spirits are in this room? If you are unable to speak, you can tap on the device in my hand. If you understand that, please tap once for yes. What? No, you're yes. lying. Did it? Yes, I had that zoomed in. That I was not moving. I know. I'm doing it. Like that. And it's like a light. I don't even know how you would. I don't even know. It's just like a. It's literally like a... I, I was literally zoomed in completely on your hand. On the I was not moving. Not at all. I don't even know where the microphone no is. Way. Right there. 
Does Sweet. that work? I think that's my like official first one of those. What, an EVP? Yeah. It's so clear. Dude. So clear. That's insane. You just play it by his mic. If you understand that, please tap once for yes. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Okay, I'm again speaking to the soldier. The one that tapped on the device. I'm going to ask you questions that way. If you died on this property, tap once for yes. Were you here when Mary Elizabeth died? Tap once for yes. Are you afraid of us? Tap once for yes. Goosebumps. Look at these goosebumps. Yeah, I'm covered, dude. Huh. I wonder why he's afraid of us. I really wish he could do more than tap. Well, here's here's a lot of paranormal investigators come into these things terrified from the beginning. You know? And we're kind of just like <laughs> we move the fuck in. We take over the kitchen table. Yeah. We're cracking jokes. I'm just curious who this gentleman we're talking to is that maybe he's kind of he's not a guard or not a soldier. Oh. If he's a doctor, of course he was here when Mary Elizabeth died. Or he may be a slave. Yeah, that's he may be a brother. Scared to talk he to may us. be a father, a mother. I went from This is a great shot of the three of us, by the way. Everybody look at the camera so I can screen cap it and make it the cover photo. Looks looks serious. <laughs> now look goofy. Now look like it just said all of our names at one time. <laughs> okay, so we're wrapping everything up. We're packing up. Carter's in the other room right over here packing up as I speak. Wow, Octagon Hall absolutely never disappoints. I love this place. You kind of feel like you're home when you walk in. All in all, it was an Excellent investigation. I can't wait to review the footage because nine times out of ten we come across stuff after the fact that it just blows our minds. I mean, what can you say? It has evidence here. I would say it's without a doubt haunted. We are spoiled in the sense that the footsteps, the knocking, the, the EVPs, the names, that stuff we get more regularly so we're always wanting more. I don't want to become too greedy with the evidence because we do get evidence and so it's hard to complain but this place was just one of those where we would start to get evidence and then it would just kind of die down so we never really got full stories. I can see why Kitsy wanted to come back here and why she wanted to bring us here. It's, it's a great location. We got all kinds of evidence and different evidence than we have gotten before. Overall it's a great place. I love it. It's tons of memorabilia here. Like, it's a very homey feeling place, and we got, like I said, we got evidence that we didn't get before, so it was worth it, and I had fun in every way.